I'm Jackie and this is Steve and we are the artistic directors of Squonk. We've been working together for over 20 years with our ensemble of artists and musicians and designers and technicians. We've toured all over the country, we've been overseas, we've performed in theaters both off-Broadway and on-Broadway and the last few years we've been concentrating on outdoor works. We love doing work that's accessible and right out in the public space and as often as possible we stage the shows for free and do school shows as well. And we're here in our barn in Pittsburgh and we'd like to show you the model for our new show, Pneumatica. Let's show them the model. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> When we do a new show, we work in a small model. Uh, this is a half inch scale model, so Jackie's three inches tall at this scale. And we start deciding how the staging will happen and what the design looks like. At a certain point, we jump up to a larger model. Jackie's now six inches tall. Here's what the arms will be like. This is Lady Pneumatica. You'll see here the Lungcordian, which has a keyboard on top, which Jackie will play from behind as it breathes in and out. This show is all about wind and wind power and air in different ways. Uh, pneuma meaning air or spirit or breath. Now 2,000 years ago, a man named Heron of Alexandria created the first pneumatics and the first uh, automata. And he wrote the book actually, Pneumatica, which the show is named after. This is Heron of Alexandria. It looks just like it. Yeah, I know. Steve thinks up all these wacky ideas and then we figure out what, how it would fit with the music and then we try the different things in the different scenes to see what might work from scene to scene within the context of the show. So as the show starts, things we're calling the sprouts grow beside us. And then we do a design study of those to see what they look like in three dimensions and what their paint treatments are. And then we go to full scale, which still needs to be painted, but go ahead and let's uh, see what oh, happens, how much bigger it gets. <laughs> Usually at this point we make reference to prom night at, at Penn <laughs> Community High School in Lancaster. Steve! <laughs> you like you're wiggling. <laughs> now after that there will be a piano and drum duet that happens as those in play behind them. And there will be costume pieces too like our guitarists having shooters coming out of their head. And then I'll be wearing an inflating and deflating star at some point. There's also some kind of interactive points in the show. Out here in the house will be a control area where a bunch of shooters shoot out at the audience like that. So it'll be kind of all encompassing and participatory. There will also be some hydraulic pistons back here in the house that go up like this. <laughs> and then shoot out in different directions. Um, kind of like We'll use air in different ways too, not just in inflatables, but we'll use air to power different movements of the set. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was beautiful. His face is turning red. <laughs> and then for the finale, we'll have a series of fan pieces that rise up behind. These are two different color studies behind the head, Jackie. Good. Uh, right there like that. And then this will happen. An inflatable behind her head. And this is a wind turbine. All these things are being built right now. And as we develop the visual imagery, I start writing music and then I work with the rest of the band. For this show, we're going to try the first time to be instrumental. And also we're adding a new musical element. Steve's going to play the electronic bagpipes. 